Y'all know what it is already, right? It's your boy Quest, and this is your marriage moment. <laughs> Let's go. What up, y'all? It's your boy Quest. Welcome to another edition of Marriage Moments. And for those of you watching for the first time, it's your boy Quest. I know some of you are wondering, uh, Quest, what you doing outside? Uh, we are outside because yesterday was Thanksgiving and a whole lot of family came through. The in-loves are in town this week. And so we had to move recording outside. So that's why we outside. Big shots out to everybody who has been supporting us like for real up until this point. We thank you so much. And we are looking to take the greenhouse to the next level in 20. 20. I'm releasing the website today. Oh man. And Marshall Fox 120 design shots out to him. He did a phenomenal job. Wait till you guys see it. You're going to love it. So this week, man, I don't know what I would call this video, but I'll tell you the story. Nonetheless, um, I wanted to go and play basketball Monday night. Now my wife, <laughs> as lovely as she is, she was like, I don't want you going nowhere and playing nobody's basketball. Right. And you know me, I was just like, yo, I ain't trying to hear that. I'm going to hang out with the fellas. We're going to get a little balling in. And uh, sure enough, man, went out to the spot, went out to this gym at this church that we know that, uh, you know, older guys play. Uh, and so we went out there and I went out on the court for a little while. First game, lovely. Second game. Yeah, I know you can't see it now, but I'm actually wearing a cast. I ended up slipping a little bit and I felt this pop run up the back of my leg. And it happened to me once in 2011. And so the, the feeling was very similar. Once you have it happen to you one time, you never forget that feeling. So I kind of used my heel and hobbled back over to the side, drove home and my wife was like, what happened? And I was like, uh, I think I pulled a muscle, right? Typical response. Next morning, I go to urgent care only to find out that, yep, yep, I went ahead and I snapped my Achilles. And she told me, and here's the funny thing, I love her. And so she, she didn't really scream me out the way she could have screamed me out, um, but the look on her face said, I told you so, you feel me? So what ended up happening was, not only did I have a partial tear in my Achilles, I had to have a cast put on and I got to wear that cast for the next six weeks, which kind of slows down my movement in helping her around the house and helping her get stuff done and doing the stuff that I'm supposed to do. Why? Because I went and played ball when I should have just been chilling, right? Some of you, you are making decisions, right? That are not conducive into protecting what matters most. You're doing it because you want to do it, right? And if you're in a marriage, you can no longer think just about you. You have to think about the whole family. You have to think about the whole marriage unit. And because I went out and played ball when I knew I should have been chilling, I snapped my Achilles. And now not only do I have to deal with it, right? She has to pick up some of the slack in some of the areas that I can't do stuff because I got a cast on my foot. Let me tell y'all something. I want y'all to be real intentional and deliberate, right? Sometimes when we want to do things, I know our mind says to do it, right? But sometimes our mind and our body, like me going to play basketball is doing two different things. And you have to be intentional and deliberate about making sure that whatever you do, it falls in line with the marriage. It falls in line with the family, because if it doesn't, and anything happens to you, it not only affects you, but it affects the marriage and it affects the entire family. So do me a favor, do me a favor as you guys are navigating through your marriage. And I know sometimes we want to do particular things and there's not anything necessarily wrong with doing those things, but consider the big picture. Is this thing falling in line with my relationship? Is this thing falling in line with my family? You know what I'm saying? Because if it doesn't and something happens to you, like I said before, it's not only going to affect you, it's going to affect everybody attached to you. So do me a favor, y'all. Don't be a knucklehead like Quest and go do stuff that you ain't know you ain't supposed to be doing. Uh, <laughs> and like always, man, you know what I say, from shaky to good, from good to great, ultimately what we want is a phenomenal marriage, but phenomenal marriages don't just happen. It takes work. So let's do that work. Um, and if you're not working on your marriage, then my friends, what are you doing? It's your boy Quest. Peace. What up, y'all? It's your boy Quest. Listen, Chicago, Illinois. That's right, Chicago, Illinois. I'm back in your city again. For what? 
for the Grow Marriage Conference. Listen guys, this conference is gonna be unlike anything I've ever done before, right? We're implementing an assessment. We're gonna learn about ourselves as individuals because I found out that when you're healthy as individuals, the marriage as a natural result will become healthier. So we're gonna find out about our preferences. We're gonna find out about our behaviors. We're gonna find out about the things that make our spouse lovely and the things that we don't like so much about our spouse. We're gonna find out about our wiring. And guess what? I'm gonna bring my lovely wife Faith with me on this one, yup. She's coming in with me and guess what? We got a whole bunch of other surprises that we're gonna bring to you for the marriage conference. When is it going down? January the 4th, Chicago, Illinois. That's right, January 4th. I am going to be in the building. So guess what, y'all? Y'all need to be there at the Grow Marriage Conference. Don't meet me there, y'all. Beat me there. I'll see y'all soon.